So today we're going to be solving problems with linear equations. So a linear equation is an equation for a line. And here's the general form for a linear equation. This is slope intercept form. And it's called slope intercept form because the m in the y equals mx plus b stands for the slope. And the b stands for the y-intercept. And those are the terms you use when you're graphing. However, when you deal with story problems, you can think of the slope as the rate. And you can think of the y-intercept as the starting amount of whatever it is you're dealing with. OK? Now, the other thing to point out is it doesn't have to use the variables y and x to write a linear equation. We can use other variables, too. And when you decide which variable goes where, for example, when we do our example, we're going to do m and d, we always have to think about which variable is it that we're trying to calculate? Which one are we trying to find out based on the other one? All right. And the best way to explain that is to go through an example. So let's do that. It says, Brian has $187 and plans to spend $6 per day. Write an equation for his money remaining after any number of days. All right. So first thing I always do when I see these story problems is try to figure out which one's my rate and which one's my starting amount. If you notice here, it says he's spending $6 per day. Per is the key word there, so we know that's our rate. In other words, our slope. And he's starting with $187. So that's our starting amount. So that's our y-intercept. So when we write our equation, we know the rate, that 6, or negative 6, because we're spending it, is going to go there next to our variable. And the y-intercept, the starting amount, is going to go on the end. So now the question becomes, if we're using the variables m and d, which variables, which one goes where? Well, if you think about the situation here, what we're trying to calculate based on this information is we're trying to calculate how much money he has based on how many days go by. So we know the variable we are going to be figuring out is the m. So our equation is going to be m equals. All right. So how do we figure out how much money he has? Well, we know he's spending $6 per day. So negative 6 times the number of days. In this case, we're using d. And we need to add in how much we started with. So we're going to plus the 187 that we started with. And there's our equation. m equals negative 6d plus 187. And if you notice, it's very similar in format to y equals mx plus b. The only difference is we're using m and d instead of y and x. All right. So now we're going to use this equation to solve some problems. For number two, how much money will he have after 15 days? OK, so we're trying to figure out how much money, and we're told we're working with 15 days. What we're going to do is substitute the amounts that we have, that we know, into our equation and figure out the amount that we don't know. So in our equation here, we don't know how much money he has, so I'll leave that. m equals, but we do know it's going to be after 15 days. So we're going to replace d in our equation with 15, because that's the number of days. And if we calculate this out, it'll tell us how much money he has. So let's do that. Negative 6 times 15 is negative 90 plus the 187. And negative 90 plus 187 is 97. We just found our answer. He'll have $97. All right. So now, last question. How many days until he has only $55 left? So notice, this one's a, almost the opposite of the previous question. This time, we don't know how many days, but we do know how much money he has left. So if we look back at our equation, we're going to put that 55 into our equation and figure out the days. So notice this time, because we know the money, we're going to put the 55 in for m. So instead of m equals, we'll write 55 equals. And we don't know the days, so we'll leave the d in there for the days. Negative 6d plus 187. 
And if we want to know how many days it'll take for us to end up with $55, we actually have to solve this equation using algebra. So let's do that. All right, so if I'm trying to figure out what D is, I first need to undo this plus 187, so I'm going to subtract 187 from both sides of the equal sign. When I do that, these undo each other. I get negative 6D, and over here I get negative 132. And then to get D, I'm going to have to divide both sides by negative 6. I end up getting D equals, and this is 22. And we just figured out how many days it'll take. It'll take 22 days. All right, so the key here is reading the story problem, figuring out which one's your rate and which one's your starting amount to write your equation. And then when you're trying to use that equation to solve problems, figure out which numbers go to which variables. If it tells you in this case 15 days, I put the 15 in for days. If it gives you $55, I'm going to put the 55 in for the money. And then we can solve to find the unknown variable. All right. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.